In this video, I'm going to show you how to dump a Sega Saturn BIOS for use on emulation with a Saru flash card. Sega Saturn emulation is in a pretty good place now after years of development where most games are fully playable and enjoyable, maybe not perfect, but you know, it's good enough for the vast majority of people. But getting a Sega Saturn BIOS file has always been a bit more tricky than other systems. And I've previously covered a method of doing so using Sega Saturn Bluetooth data link. Unfortunately, those are no longer being manufactured, but with the release of the Saru flash cart and its more widespread popularity now, the process of getting a Sega Saturn BIOS has become very, very easy. So let's go ahead and dive in. So to dump our Sega Saturn BIOS files, all we're gonna need to do this today is the Saru flash card, a micro SD card, and then a way to read those micro SD cards on a computer. I'm not gonna go over Saru flash card setup. There's plenty of guides out there for that. We're more focused on just getting our BIOS file. But go ahead and get your SD card, insert it into your computing device of choice. So now over on your computing device of choice, open up your Saru folder, and we're gonna open up the saruconfig.txt, and we're just gonna add a couple of lines in here. So, sorry, mine's a little big right now. There we go. But anyway, underneath the global tab, just go ahead and Put in a new line here and we're going to copy the following text into our config file i'm going to have this down in the description below but we're just going to copy all of this into our config text file right here in that space that we just made just like so and then we're just going to save our config file now the last thing we need to do is create a new folder within our saru folder here and just name it bios so we're just going to create a new folder Name it BIOS. And that is all set. So we can go ahead and close out of this, take the SD card out of our computing device, move it over to our flash cart, and get it loaded up on the Sega Saturn. So once your Saru has booted up, we're just gonna tell it to play a game. So just go into select game and then choose one of your games that you have available and just boot into it. And once you see the Sega Saturn splash screen, the process is pretty much done. So we could just go ahead and turn off our Saturn, remove the Saru SD card, and move it back over to a computer. Now back over on your computer, when you open up your Saru SD card, you go inside your BIOS folder, you will see that there is now a BIOS.bin file. So we're just gonna go ahead and copy that over to our computer. And now we can go back into the Saru config.txt and remove all these extra lines if desired. and then we'll just save it. And all set. Now to use this BIOS file in emulation, you just need to get it renamed the way the emulator expects it. So if you're using RetroArch, for example, if you're using Yaba Sanshiro, it needs to be named Saturn underscore BIOS dot bin. Yaba U, same thing, Saturn underscore BIOS dot bin. Kronos, Saturn underscore BIOS dot bin. That one goes in a Kronos subfolder. And then of course, Beetle Saturn is Sega underscore 101 for Japanese BIOS files, and then for US and European BIOS files, MPR-17933. So just get it renamed after whichever one you're using. So I'm actually gonna do both. So I'm just gonna make a copy of this. And I'm gonna name the second one that MPR. There we go. Now both of those are good to go. So then we could just place these inside the RetroArch system folder. And I'm going to make another copy of this one here real quick. And I'm going to make a subfolder for Kronos. And there we go. Now I can load up into RetroArch. And give this a shot. So we're just going to do it with Beetle Saturn now for today's video example. And there it is. Sega Saturn BIOS file loading up flawlessly. But there you have it, a very quick and easy way to back up a Sega Saturn BIOS file from your own system with the Saru flashcard.
And a big thank you to Eternal Commando for making me aware of this method and to Isbis for writing up the documentation on how to do so. But that's going to do it for this one. So here at the end, usual favors. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's video, as well as hitting that sub button and notification bell if you'd like to see more videos as they come out. And trust me, there is a lot more coming. Always appreciate having everyone along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel to keep it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen as every little bit helps keep us going and bringing all of this content to you in the future. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.